Curtis with We Whack a Line Cure. Hey, today uh, I'm out taking care of some lines and uh, I just showed up at a property that I'm going to take care of. Uh, it was one that I, well, I didn't get a chance to do uh, the other week, last week rather, because I was out of town and uh, I, uh, well, I emailed the customer that I was out of town and all, uh, I guess customer didn't get the email or something or other, I don't know, but anyway, uh, the customer texted me and uh, I informed the customer that I had emailed them that I was out of town on that Monday, and I would take care of the loan when I get back, and so now I'm back, and I'm trying to, uh, well, get it taken care of today. Now also, I had some more customers, meanwhile, you know, I had to take my, uh, I took my tablet with me, I took my uh, my laptop with me while I was on uh, my getaway trip, you know, just get away. And I was getting a lot of um, well, I got a lot of texts and then just some emails in reference to doing some lawn care. Basically everything, you know, has slowed down and all this, so <clears throat> still get a few. Well, here's one. I had a customer had, um, well, after I got back and all, but the customer said that uh, they had to uh, rake their uh, lawn up, and they had like about six bags of leaves, and uh, asked me did they need to... Uh, you know, get someone else and all, which was like, you know, I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it because it was like, you know, I saw, I just say, well, I didn't say anything to him. I just, I just explained it. I just, you know, handled it in a matter where, well, I'm sorry for your inconvenience, but I was out of town for Thanksgiving and, um, uh, you know, if you, uh, would uh still need help with your lawn then uh just let me know and i'll i can come i can come over and help you in that matter because that's basically what it is i'm just helping you you know a lot of times you know things you can do yourself you don't want to do it and that's what it was he didn't want to do it but that's his joy he want to keep it looking good i mean hey and like i say it's been slow but that was just one, y'all. I, uh, I want, you know, handle that with, you know, yeah, I can come over, you know, one. And, uh, he, uh, sent me a text back and said, oh, uh, well, next week the leaves are still dropping. Okay. Okay. So, you know, got that one taken care of. Now, I had another one. And uh, actually, I left a little bit early on my trip. And I'll, I'll never do that again. I'll never do that. I'm never leaving early. For no customer whatsoever. But uh, I said, okay, yeah, I'm going to be back because, you know, um, I came back early. I think, yeah, I got back in on uh, Wednesday. And then at Thursday, I uh, had informed this customer. I never worked for him before. I never have. And uh, he uh, sent me an email in reference to, uh, you know, what time frame would I uh, come, you know, come over and do the lawn. I said, well, it'll be about 4.30 when I get over there. And 4.30 was, and I got over there and I cleaned up the lawn, had a lot of leaves and all that in there. And, and uh, got everything out. Uh, clean up but now here's another thing all of that was taken care of I invoiced the customer emailed them I haven't gotten paid and uh, I uh, emailed them again in reference to I'm like if you didn't get the first one then I'm trying to uh, you know um, 
email you a second invoice. Now, meanwhile, who's wanting to get this here uh, service done? And it just email, it was right away, right away with the emails. And it, was, it came from the iPhone, so I know he had the phone, so I know he got the email back because he was doing it from his iPhone. But all before, he was responding back right away. Now, he ain't responding. I'm like, okay. So, Monday has passed. I didn't hear anything. Tuesday, which is today. And, uh, I haven't heard anything. So now, you know, I mean, I hate to go through all of this rim and rolls, but I guess, you know, I... It's like, where do you want to take it? I got some free time, and uh, let's see where we're going to go. We want to go to Small Claims Court? We will. We will definitely go to Small Claims Court because I got time. And all the time that it takes me to do that, I tax that on to my bill. You know, I'm already going to let you know. Hey, you started it. I didn't. You sent that email. I have the address. I know who owns the house. You know, I had done all my research. And that's the kind of stuff you have to be aware of when you're going to doing business. Do your research, do your due diligence to get all the information that you need. And I'm like, don't be blessing with people nowadays. You know, I mean you call for the service, the service was delivered. And also I videoed it. <laughs> I delivered. And if there was a problem with anything that I had taken care of. You didn't notify me. You didn't say anything. So now, I want my money. <laughs> That's where we at, y'all. I want my money. You know, I, I'm, I'm so tired of this. I'm tired of dealing with this types of stuff. You know, I'm just tired of dealing with stuff like this. You know, if you don't have the money, don't bother people. Do it yourself. You know? And... Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Some crazy stuff. But anyway, that's what I've been going through, y'all. Going through that. And um, ugh, it's like if I take off, <laughs> it's a problem. Well, I'm going to take off. Because, uh, you know, it's a life besides just working and mowing some of lords. Man, I'm going to take off. You'll miss it. I'm not going to, uh-uh. No. I didn't always do lawn care. So I know what it's like not to do lawn care. <laughs> you know, they always do this, and it's like, man, uh, -uh. it's good to, uh, like I say, have a business, but there's other businesses to get into. You know, not just say <clears throat> going through this Remy Robin, dealing with, you know, a lot of customers, and I don't know, I don't know, issues rather. You know, issues. But that that's that's what I've been going through, y'all. So uh, going through that, and uh, you know, I'm just like I say, trying to wind down, get ready for um, the new year, 2022, getting everything in order. Um, what I plan to do for 2022. Um, yeah, trying to, I'm getting everything in order. I want to get everything all closed out and everything. And, uh, you know, see about, you know, having a, a good ending of this 2021. Oh, and to stay safe out here. I mean, don't uh, put your guards down and think that everything is okay because it's not. There's still people getting sick. I'm getting information about that. You know, people still catching the virus and uh, not knowing that they have it or, you know, whatever, and still passing from it. So I'm like, wow. Matter of fact, it was a old cousin 
customer of mine that did have moved. And I think she was going back up to, uh, well, she was looking, she's looking for a home up in Michigan. She's going to leave Texas. She just sold her house. And she's planning on either moving to Michigan or she's going up to uh, New York and all. And she had um, always called me and checking on me, see how I'm doing. I said, I'm doing okay. She said, well, good, <laughs> good. But um, that's when a good, good customer, you know, loyal customer. For the time period of when she moved into her house, I took care of it for, I want to say she stayed there for about, maybe about five years, somewhere in there. And I took care of that that uh, period of time for her and all. So she decided to, you know, she was, wanted to move on, move on somewhere else. I understand that. Anyway, y'all, let me see. I'm going to get out of this truck here and uh, take care of this lawn. Uh, this is one that I, I've done it before, and where well, I shared it before, rather. But let's take a look at it. I, I know it's got some leaves on it, um, but uh, let's see. Yeah, it's this one right across the street over here. So I'm gonna take and uh, hold on, if I can show you. Yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, right there. I'm gonna take and uh, just clean it up, get those leaves out of there, front and back, get them off the driveway and all. And, you know, just get this one here taken care of. Let me get this one off my list here. Yeah, that one. Then I, then if there's more time, I will go and do another one. Um, yeah, I got another one I plan on going and doing. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. I'm just sharing that a little bit with you. So I'm a, let me let me go on and see if I can get in this lawn and get it taken care of right quick. I'm gonna get the blower out first, blow those leaves and mulch them up, and uh, then I'm gonna see if I can get on my way to do another one. All right, stay tuned. All right, I'm back, y'all. I just finished up this year lawn. It took me a little bit more time than I anticipated. Had a lot of leaves in it. And in the backyard, I had to work on that. So that took extra time. So, uh, well, night's coming up on me. But it's, it gets that way sometimes. You know, you start working on one and you have to go back over it over until you get it to look good and clean. Let me give you all a quick look at the front though. Okay, here we go. This here is the way the front looks. We got all the leaves up out of there, all of the roots and everything. So it, it took me uh, took me some time to uh, get it to this here point, get all of this here all cleaned up with all the leaves from within between over here, as you can see in between with the neighbors and all, and on this tree. So I had to rake it all up, and as you can see, this right here, I got two bags and. And a little small bag of debris there. Had to get all that up. Now on the other side, well, that's for the other neighbors. I think they share like a driveway and also uh, I wasn't messing with that. But uh, as I say, it took me some time to get that cleaned up front and back. Back is a huge backyard and I shared it before. So it took me some time to uh, get back there and get the leaves out and around the roots and the trees and all back there and uh i didn't share a recording that sometimes y'all don't like to look at this y'all skip through it or click away from the video and i said oh man they don't want to see me doing no work here nah they don't want to see that <laughs> but it's a lot of work in it y'all a lot of work and uh from time to time sometimes i uh someone checks out the video and give me a call and asked me some questions about different things and all about doing lawn care and all and what can I say y'all it's a journey it's a journey if you're thinking about uh, getting into it uh, what can I say be careful be careful because it's not no uh, well it's not really easy as they say seem like it's easy sometimes you know doing lawns 
you know, at lawn after lawn, it just depends on your customer base, your clientele, you know, some of them good and some of them not so good. And you got to deal with all types of different personalities when you are uh, doing this kind of stuff, you know, it's, it's it, hey, you learn a lot and uh, doing this, I mean, you know, you're going to get some good customers, some bad customers. As I was mentioning earlier about me, you know, taking some time off and everything, where that um, it's like I, well, can't take off for Thanksgiving or whatever because somebody want me out doing their lungs. And I'm like, man, <laughs> no, <laughs> I feel like taking off, I'll take off. I'm going to do what I want to do, when I want to do. If I want to do no lawns, I won't do any lawns. You know, I schedule this. And, you know, you'll, you'll get into the point where you get a lot of impatient people. That's why I say be careful with uh, doing this type of work. You know, because you, you got different, different types of personalities that you got to deal with. And... Um, don't take no, uh, what can I say? Don't take it at heart if somebody lets you go. Because um, I don't. It doesn't matter to me. This is a service. You call for help. I'm helping you. I'll come out and take care of your lawn for you. You know, for a reasonable fee and all. But I'm helping you. You know, so if you don't want my help no more, okay, fine. <laughs> I'll move on. I'll go help somebody else. And that's what it's about, uh, helping someone. And I mean, you know, you, you get you get paid a little fee on it, and it ain't like I'm getting rich by doing this, because mm -mm, it ain't that good, because it takes time to do it. And uh, what can I say, a lot of time in some of them, because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of physical movement work in doing this. And uh, you'll get a lot of customers that want something for nothing. And, you know, you'd be like, well, if you work for nothing, you get nothing. <laughs> you know, you, you, <laughs> you wind up losing. And they wind up winning. You know, because you all tired and they in there relaxing and you're doing all this physical work and uh, they, uh, you know, be glad to, to pay you a little few dollars, you know, stuff in that nature, but it, it ain't all of that now. And, I mean, if you like, I mean, what I want to say is if you like doing lawn care, it's great. If you got a passion for it, it's great. But uh, don't... Uh, you know, get in there thinking, oh, wow, I'm going to make all this money. It's a lot of overhead expense. You know, the price of the gas, you got insurance, taxes, you know, wear and tear of the vehicle, tires, you got to buy new tires, maintenance. Uh, constantly running all the time. Run, 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 run here. But, uh. And, and like, like I said, this year now, I decided. I, I, I've done it before, stayed behind and didn't do what I wanted to do. Or was taking off and traveling and all. Well, come 2022, I'm going to do what I want to do. Whether I mow lawns or not, forget it. <laughs> forget it. It doesn't matter whether I do it or not anymore. Life is short and you got to enjoy some of, your, some of your life. I mean, don't want to just work yourself to death. And, never get to see anything else you know and that's just kind of one of the things I say as I'm saying be careful when you get into this because it can be very demanding and you can get a lot of lawns and rip and run and here and there doing this run here doing that it was just like uh, yesterday let me see what was I doing uh, no Sunday a customer called me wanted me to uh, put them a new mailbox up so I went out and got him a new mailbox and 
you know, assemble the mailbox, you know, dug the hole, put it in the ground for them, concrete it in and everything. Now this job was, I was called because they thought I was in town and I was out of town. And the guy called me while he was in the hospital and said somebody had ran over his mailbox and knocked it all down. I said, well, I'm sorry. I won't be able to uh, help you at this time. I can do it when I get, get back in town. He said, okay, okay. And that's what I did. When I got back to town, I got in contact with him and uh, went and got him a mailbox. I wanted to see what he wanted me to do and I said, okay. And that's what I did. But uh, y'all, I'm hey, it's been a day, and now I'm fin to uh, I'm finna get on home here, get in this truck here, and see about getting home and getting ready for uh, well, I'm gonna get ready for tomorrow there. Get ready and uh, see what all I can. Uh, get accomplished for tomorrow. I got another, oh, leaf job. And these leaf jobs, in my part of the town, these leaf jobs don't pay a lot of money. They want to pay me the same thing um, for taking care of the lawn for his mowing and trimming an edge, and they want to pay the same thing for that on a leaf job. And leaf jobs are time consuming. And you gotta go over it, get it all good and clean. Now they don't pay me no more money for that. And that ends up, you know, normally when you t take care of a yard, you can do like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or 40 minutes and you are uh, in and out of there. Leaf job can end up taking an hour, hour and a half, two hours trying to get all those leaves up. This would be a lot of leaves. And, uh, as I was saying, I stated earlier in the video when I was a uh, guy had uh, texted me about he had six bags of leaves and what well, texted me that he had to do it himself. So what? It's your yard. Do some things yourself. You're still living. You can walk. If you can do it, do it. You know? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> and what's the problem? Because you got a few dollars? Come on, man, please. <laughs> But anyway, he got it. He got it done. But do you think you want to pay Curtis any more money? Hmm. Well, I got news for him. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste a lot of time uh, doing a lot of leaf jobs. This ain't no money in it for me, and let somebody else do it. <laughs> that's the way I feel about it. Get him. As you know, as us. And you get to that point at times when you done done something so many times over and over and over. But anyway, y'all, let me get out of here. I'm finna get on home here. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be back soon.